Hey, what's up guys? It's Tex Mama talking to you here. And today, I want to talk about the iPhone 13 lineup. Basically, I want to tell you that you should skip the iPhone 13 and buy the iPhone 13 Pro. Yes, I'm telling you to skip the cheaper model just to buy a $200 more expensive model. And here's why. The iPhone 13 has a lot less than you think and the iPhone 13 Pro has a lot more than you think. Let me tell you that, in my opinion, the iPhone 13 Pro just if more than justifies the $200 difference. And if you are looking to buy the iPhone 13, you should not buy it and just save a little bit more and spend on the iPhone 13 Pro. But before I go into that, roll the intro. The iPhone 13 is a very compelling phone. $800 for almost the same package as the iPhone 13 Pro. But I don't think so. Last year's, the iPhone 12 was actually a very compelling option when compared to the iPhone 12 Pro. There were no much differences. If you look at it, it was just the telephoto and the iPhone 12 Pro had a little bit worse battery. But this year, it's way different. As well as having the stainless steel sides and the matte glass, just like last year, the iPhone 13 Pro this year features way, way better battery life and a way better display, which, not talking about the cameras, are the two main reasons to upgrade for the iPhone 13 Pro. The iPhone 13 Pro features a ProMotion capable 120Hz display. This means that this display can refresh rate between 10 and 120Hz. This is what enables the best battery life on this 6.1 inch iPhone. Why? Because now the display, when it doesn't need to, it can refresh rate down to 10Hz when you are looking to text or looking to emails, or it can go up to 120 when you are scrolling very fast. But if you are watching a movie at 24 frames per second, for example, it goes down to 24 frames per second. Or are you watching a video at 30 frames per second, the iPhone ramps down to, 20, to 30 frames per second, saving you battery life, not wasting on wasted, I don't know, 60 frames per second, like the iPhone 13 has. So in just in this aspect, the iPhone 13 Pro features a way more advanced display, which is also more bright. It's actually 20% brighter than the iPhone 13's display iPhone 13's display is like the last year's iPhone 12 Pro. It's the same display, it has a 1200 nit peak brightness when watching HDR videos, the same as the iPhone 13 Pro, but it only has 800 nits of peak brightness, while the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max obviously have 1000 nits. While I'm talking about the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro, I'm talking also about the iPhone 13 mini and the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but of course those are more extremes and you know when you want a big, big phone or you want a very small phone. When you are indecided, maybe you'll go for the middle, which is a 6.1 inch size, and that's why I'm talking about specifically about the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro right now. But the iPhone 13 also features a worse battery, like I said, when compared to the iPhone 13 Pro. This is also because of the display. The display of the iPhone 13 is 60 Hertz, which doesn't re very really refresh rates and adjust to your content or type of usage and that's why it's always stuck at there and wastes more battery. Tests have resulted in at least one, one hour and a half more battery life for the iPhone 13 Pro. You can look at it on the Mr. Who's the Boss test. Of course, the iPhone 13 Pro is way, way better also in terms of performance because the A15 present on the iPhone 13 for the first time is not the same as the one present on its counterpart Pro model. The iPhone 13 Pro features a five core GPU when the iPhone 13 only features a 4 core. You may think, oh, just a core may not make a lot of difference. Well, you're wrong, because the iPhone 13 Pro features 40% more GPU power and performance when compared to the iPhone 13. And that's why Apple is marketing the iPhone 13 Pro as the most powerful chip ever, and not the, the iPhone 13 also. They are saying that the iPhone 13 is more powerful than the iPhone 12s, but the only phone more powerful than that is the iPhone 13 Pro. This performance or extra performance might give you a little bit handy in the future when iOS gets more heavy or when doing AR stuff. And talking about AR, the iPhone 13 Pro has LiDAR while the iPhone 13 doesn't. But that's not revealed to be a big feature because in terms of cameras, the iPhone 13 Pro has macro photography and telephoto mode. These are the two differences, big differences when compared to the iPhone 13 when you look at it from the front. But the iPhone 13 Pro also features way better ultra wide lens, way better wide lens, like it doesn't have a telephoto, the iPhone 13. So the two lenses that the two phones have, the iPhone 13 Pro's lens are new and bigger, while the iPhone 13's camera system is just like last year's iPhone 12 Pro Max camera system without telephoto. So 
If you are looking for the best camera on an iPhone, there's no choice that you can go for the iPhone 13 Pro because this features an amazing ultra, ultra wide camera, which is new and enables macro photography, which is a pro feature. I love these macro photography shots. Here's some for you to look at. They are very fun. And the iPhone 13 Pro also features a way better wide lens, which is the main camera because it's bigger. It can capture more light. So when compared to the iPhone 13s, you might not notice the differences when the lighting situation is optimal, but when you go into low light photography, you can notice that the iPhone 13's camera is not as good as the iPhone 13 Pro. It doesn't capture as much more light, so it needs to stay open for more time. You can see that it has a little bit more artifacts, it has a little bit more noise, it's not as good, more as crisp and as sharp. So the iPhone 13 Pro is way better than that game too. And of course you have the telephoto, a 3X telephoto, which is equivalent to 77 millimeters camera. It's very cool to have, it's very cool to have this different view on subjects. Also the portrait mode is way better on this lens. So in my opinion, the $200 alone are worth it for the camera system. And you get promotion and best battery life in the game and a little bit more performance on the GPU side. So as you can see that by explaining this to you, the iPhone 13 Pro seems to be this year the choice to go. Of course, if you want to spend less than a thousand dollars, you have to go for the 13s. You have to sell it for that or just get 12 Pro. But in my opinion, you should go for the 13s. The differences between the iPhone 13 and 12 Pro are not much. The telephoto and stainless steel sides does not compete with the fact that the iPhone 13 features cinematic mode and photo styles. Those are the same for the all iPhone lineup. You have them on the iPhone 13 mini towards the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So if you are looking for the best phone, in my opinion, the best overall phone from the iPhone 13 lineup, considering the price and the performance, is the iPhone 13 Pro. Of course, if you ask me which what's my recommendation to you, I think you should go for the 13 Pro Max. The $100 difference between those and the iPhone 13 Pro justifies a lot by the best battery life on the phone ever, 10 hours of battery life, which is an hour and a half more than the iPhone 13 Pro. So I think that even for me, the bigger screen and better battery life justifies the $100. But I want to tell you that if you are like in a doubt if you should spend the extra 200 or you should just buy the iPhone 13 right now, I think they should wait. Just try to earn a little bit more money or try to save a little bit more money and buy the iPhone 13 Pro. $200, if you are spending $800 on a phone, you can wait two, three, four, five months more and get the iPhone 13 Pro. It's way, way worth it. You will see that the experience will be way, way better and the $200 justifies that. Also, the value of the iPhone 13 Pro is better long time it devalues less when compared to the normal models but the iPhone 13 is also a good choice if you want to spend the least amount of money possible in my opinion then you should go for the iPhone 13 mini the battery life is good enough now and it's the most cheap model of the lineup starting at 699 while the iPhone 13 starts at 799 and the iPhone 13 Pro starts at 999 of course if you want to spend a little bit more you can go for 1099 for the iPhone 13 Pro Max but what are your opinions? Are you going to skip the iPhone 13 and follow my device and get the 13 Pro? Are you going to skip the iPhone 13 lineup at all and wait for the iPhone 14? Or are you not going to buy an iPhone and you don't like the iPhone 13s? Or do you own an iPhone 13? And by the way, which one do you want? Tell me in the comments down below which iPhone 13 is your favorite. Mine, the iPhone 13 Pro Max all the way. Also, before you go, don't forget to follow my social networks, Twitter and Instagram, and leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, we are growing. Thank you, by the way. This is Texumer talking to you here. Bye.